Hi everybody, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I'm going to talk about how to be happy. Okay? Now, I'm going to go scientific today. Woohoo! I love doing my research and finding this stuff out so it is proven through peer-reviewed medical journals, etc. So what I talk about is the truth. Okay? Now, first off, what I'm going to say talk about today is in my personal opinion. Whatever I do talk about, it's best to go and research it yourself. Find out what is specifically needed for you individually, okay? Please know I am not a medical doctor at all, but I love researching this stuff and finding out what other um, like medical doctors have said about this, and then I incorporate their words into my work, okay? Alrighty, so... First off, how to be happy. Okay, let's go scientific first and then I'm going to go spiritual here, okay? And tell us how to raise up our vibrations to use this so it really works. Because everybody at this point is going cray cray. Everybody's going cray cray. All right, <laughs> cray cray. You know, I love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, and I'm already starting to raise up my vibration here. Did you notice that? Okay, let's keep going. So today we're going to talk about dopamine levels. We're going to talk about our serotonin levels. We're going to talk about oxytocin. And we're going to talk about endorphins. Okay. How do these play out in our brain? Because it's all through the neuroplasticity, right? And how do we incorporate this in this world of madness? <laughs> oh, God. Let's go there. So what is our dopamine levels first? Okay, a lot of people know that this one, this is one of probably the most popular one out of the four. So let's start with the one we all know. Dopamine is the brain's reward system. So if you make a cake and then you eat a slice of that cake, you feel good as that reward that you get to eat what you just spent an hour making, okay? It's that good job after doing an arduous report at work that goes for a long, long time. When your boss says, oh, I liked your report, and you think, yes, okay? Because that's our brain acknowledging that reward for what we've done. So that's our dopamine levels, right? Secondly, serotonin. This one is our wellness and happy chemicals that we emit. So how do we get serotonin levels? What we do is the best one that I've just researched is light. Do, 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 do. Oh, I may be banned off Facebook, um, YouTube and Facebook for this one. But light therapy. Guess what? It's vitamin D that we absorb from sunlight. Okay, so get your butt outside and just sit in the sun because light, even, you know, there's research out there that even if we look straight into the sun, it comes in through our eyes. But be careful of doing that, okay? I don't want any medical problems to arise here. But if we could sort of look near the sun, so we absorb it all through our eyes into our body, all right? Now, someone said to me once, the best time to do light therapy where you look at the sun is of a morning as the sun's coming up and at night when the sun's going down. Now, has that got to do with anything within the magnetic force of the planet whereby two hours either side of the sun going up and going down, there is a magnetic charge in the atmosphere during that time? Research that if you want to, okay? Now, the next one I want to talk about is oxytocin oxytocin. This one is our touch chemical. When we hug someone, when we just have that high five moment of that interaction with another person, that increases our oxytocin levels, okay? So we always feel good when we're with other people. And the last one is our endorphins. This is how we manage stress and pain, okay? This is also that release of any past hurts, traumas, grief, etc. that we've got, whereby we then get that chemical 
imbalance of holding on to things from the past. So now if we look at antidepressants, what is it? Oh, there goes my phone. Sorry, guys. What is it in antidepressants that they try to rebalance those chemicals in our brain? And it's generally all of the four I just mentioned. Okay, how many times do you hear oxytocin and serotonin used in antidepression work? Okay, because what happens is we get into this rut where we so base our existence on things that have happened in the past. It could be failures in our job, failures as a parent, failure with our own parents and oh my god now I blame myself for what my parents did to me growing up. Those sort of things. It could be a past partner where we're holding on to all that hurt and pain from the past that we're still allowing it into our future. So we can't create all these four full um, feel good chemicals in our brain. So we have to go out and get antidepressants to balance out that chemical imbalance. Okay, does that make sense for you all? So now that I've just spoken about this, scientific side of this how do we incorporate this spiritually dopamine let's go through the four again that's our reward system so when you go out for your walk or you do your artistry or you draw you know like painting a picture or something or you've done that report at work give yourself that reward don't expect someone else to come up to you and say, wow, that was really good. So you look yourself in the mirror and you say, you know what, Linda? I am so proud of you for what you've just done. I am so excited. I am so anticipating your next work. I can't wait to see what else you do. See how you give yourself that own little pep talk? Okay, because that's how we increase our own dopamine levels through our imbalance in our brain. So you give yourself that little pep talk. And I say to people all the time, go and look at yourself in the mirror. So you're talking to you. So me, I'm Linda, so I'll use Linda. And you give yourself that pep talk. Hey, Linda, I'm really glad that you bought that new pair of shoes. They look hot on you. That sort of thing you want to say to yourself. So then you get that compliment that you don't need from somebody else. You give yourself that compliment. You're giving yourself that own ego boost. And most of all, you're giving yourself that love that we don't need to get from other people because we need to feel it within ourselves, right? Okay. Serotonin. That's our wellness and happiness chemical. So how do we increase that one? Laugh. It's our wellness and our happiness. So whenever something happens, right? Now, let's just look at the world right now. There's so many countries out there. Let's just do some. If you compare Israel, Austria, the UK and Australia, if you just compare those four countries with what they're doing through this madness, they're all doing different things. And you think, which one's right? Have any of them got it right? And you sit there and you laugh at this, okay? You think, look at the mandate that country's got. <laughs> you start laughing at it. Because what we're doing when we laugh at something, we're virtually saying, I am not getting involved with what you're doing, okay? I live in Australia. I'm in Queensland. I virtually can't go anywhere at this point. <laughs> but see how I react to it. Okay, I am laughing at these mandates that we've all got all around the planet. Everybody's got different mandates. No one's doing the same thing. Okay, so serotonin is our wellness and our happiness chemical. So start your laughing at every stupid thing that the governments are doing right now, okay? You know, when they come out and say, oh, well, from, you know, you can't go to a pub after 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> what am I only going to catch this thing after 10 o'clock at night, am I? So that's why you laugh at it. 
because that increases the serotonin level within us and it makes us feel good okay oxytocin what does this one do this is our touch this is our getting out there love and trust chemical okay look at isolation right now they want us inside because they know this right it's not a conspiracy anymore you know when i was saying all this two years ago it was a conspiracy because i made a post in march 2020 so that's nearly two years ago i said in a post on facebook wouldn't it be funny if they are doing all these lockdowns and isolation to separate us so we don't get our oxytocin whoa bingo look how many people today are on antidepressants that you know when i made that post two years ago there was a in australia it was one in four who had mental health issues now it's virtually everybody <laughs> everybody everybody it's like five out of four people now have mental health in australia so we laugh at this and you say i'm not allowing you to tell me how i'm going to feel today you know you can tell me i can't leave my house but i can still touch my kids i can still touch my husband or my wife i can still touch my pets and get that beautiful oxytocin from that touch of people who i can associate with okay so it's virtually we're having that authority within ourselves to grant ourselves happiness okay so you sit there and you say to yourself right now today i'm not going to listen to that government i'm not going to listen to that person in authority they're all telling me to stay at home isolate don't do this don't do that dancing and singing hello <laughs> hello <laughs> So you we sit there and we laugh at it okay guys all right laugh at it and you touch you know hold your own hand feel one hand to the other and think my god this is like me touching an ex part um, a partner or my mother or my child who i can't see at this point my best friend lives three hours away oh i'm gonna pretend i'm holding her hand today this is me this is her and you feel that touch okay this is how we battle this endorphins is our stress and our pain now you've got to remember here stress and pain is what we create in our heads so we have to be consistent when we say all these things that are making me stressed isolated i can't do this i can't do that guess what i am oh i just said those two words didn't i <laughs> i am yay so how to be happy don't listen to what they're doing obviously we've got to obey okay it's because i don't certainly don't want anyone with criminal records here so we've got to obey but what you do when you're alone they can't diminish that okay don't let them diminish that okay so how do we turn this into a spiritual thing all right think about them dopamine is our reward system look yourself in the mirror and you say you know linda i love you i love you i love you because because answer that because i love you because you know how often do we look at our partners and we'll say to them you know what doll i love you but do we ever say because not a lot so tell people why you love them okay i love you because and it could be a multitude of millions of things i love you because you are home 10 minutes early today so i get that extra 10 minutes where i can hug and cuddle you that increases my oxytocin levels see how all this incorporates into each other okay serotonin is our wellness and happiness so get yourself outside go for a walk because exercise is one of the best things to increase all four of these and as we're walking around look into other people's yards not like a peeping tom type creepy stalker type thing okay 
You don't have to be that. But you admire what they've got. You know, I went around the block with my daughter the other night and there's this big bush growing outside of someone's yard so all the all the flowers are all over public space. And I sat there and I picked some of the flowers. You know, they're, they're in public space so I wasn't stealing the flowers, right? But I brought these flowers home, put them in the vase and I thought, wow, there's my reward for taking my daughter for a walk. When we're walking around, we admired the work that somebody's done on their driveway. I was thinking, well, they did a good job doing that driveway. Good job. They were doing a good job. Good job. Good job for me being there and appreciating it as well. Okay? So, dopamine is our reward system. Serotonin is our wellness and happiness chemical. So get out there and get into the light. Because light therapy works and it increases all those feel-good chemicals in our brain. Oxytocin, that's the one that makes us feel love and trust. So if you can't see your friends, if you can't go to work and see your co-mates, co-workers I mean, or you can't go and see your best friends or your family, then you can just look yourself in the mirror and give yourself that love. Because self-love is how we make the world go round. Because once we emit it from inside, it weasels out of us like little doot-doot-doot-doot and dolphins. And it goes and emits to other people. Okay? The one word I haven't mentioned today is pheromones. What are pheromones? Pheromones are emitted from our body externally. Endorphins are actually emitted internally, okay? So it's our internal is our endorphins and our pheromones is what we emit to others, okay? So when we've got a higher level of all these happy drugs within us, natural chemicals emitted from the neurotransmitters of our brain, what happens is we are reeking these when we leave our houses. So if I'm sitting here with all this self-love and self-pride, I'm doing such a great job and I'm hugging myself. Yay, and I'll shake my own hand, okay? So I'm sitting here loving myself, loving my daughter, loving my cat, even loving my pens. Oh, I love you. Thank God that you're working for me today so I could research all this stuff this morning. So we appreciate, respect, adore and treasure even little remote um, minuscule things in our house, right? So when I leave my house, I'm emitting all this as a pheromone coming out of me. So when I do see my neighbor walking down the street and I go up to him and I say, Hey, doll, how are you today? Are you having a good day? He then picks that up because it's transmitted through our auric field and he then feels good. He then goes inside. He might live with somebody else. He goes up to them and says, Oh, that lady from up the road just said hello to us. So then the other guy then feels that emotion too because it's all connected. And isn't it funny how the government rights now wants to stop all this? You can't disagree with that. The government right now wants us to stop all this. They want us in a low vibration. They want our mental health going down the toilet. Do you think this is a ploy? Do you think this isn't an agenda? It's happening, guys. So think about it. Do we want to follow their plan? No. So you sit at home and what do you do? You laugh at it. Laugh. You know that belly laugh where you think you're going to cough up and vomit all over the floor type laughing? Do it. When you see something on the TV, radio, newspaper or wherever you're reading it on the computer and you sit there and you think, look what this twat is saying today. That is hysterical, okay? It is. It is hysterical. You know, I just saw today what's happening in Israel. And then on the other hand, you've got what's happening in the UK. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, who's got it right? Who's doing the wrong thing here and who's doing the right thing? You know? And now I'm hearing the new strains coming out. Oh my gosh, more fear. More fear, because when we fear things, guess what goes down? 
dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and their endorphins all go down through the floor. Okay? So, raise yourself up. Be proud of yourself. You know, even if you just get out of bed and you put on something, any clothes, go and look in the mirror and say, I'm really proud you've just put that on. I'm so proud. Put on something comfortable and just say, you know what? This is comfortable for me. I like it. You know, I've just put on my another one of my red shirts today. I like it. Why? So you answer the why. You know, like I said before, I love you because I love this shirt. Well, one, it's red. Hello. <laughs> and two, I love the sleeves. Look at the sleeves on him. It's gorgeous. I love this shirt. So I just said the word gorgeous. Huh. Isn't that funny? Because the more we compliment, the more we love everything around us. I love you, Pen. Thank God you're working. As I could make my notes for today's video. As soon as we appreciate, love, treasure and adore anything around us, these idiots... <laughs> They're idiots, okay? They're idiots. <laughs> That's all I can say about it because I laugh so much when I think about what the governments around the world are doing right now, okay? They've got no clue because they're not spiritual, you know? Oh, my God. We, you know, we may have a couple of spiritual... Um, politicians out there but they're the ones that are helping us right now right putting through all the bills and stuff to stop this sh stuff I nearly said a swear word then oops all right so <clears throat> how do we win this war because it is a war okay I said this 2020 in March two years ago I said this was a war against the energies let negative and positive energies okay so if you want to raise up your vibration and how to be truly happy within yourself, it must start within yourself first. Okay? Laugh at everything because I certainly am. Okay? I'm laughing at everything. You know, we've had some serious rain in here in Brisbane here over the last month. I only mowed my front yard a week ago and it's already about four inches long. <laughs> and I was looking at it this morning. I'm thinking, oh my God, I've got to mow again. And I started laughing hysterically just at how fast my grass is growing. Okay. So the more we laugh at things and we see that funny side of it, we're not criticizing it. We're not putting it down and belittling it. Because that's negative, right? So you don't want to be attacking, abusing or um, belittling anything that you're laughing about. Okay, because that's not how this works. But you laugh at the absolute absurdity. Because it, it is, it's absurd. Um, absurd. You laugh at the stupidity of it. You laugh at the synchronicity of I only mowed a week ago and there we go again. Okay, so you laugh at things because that's how we increase our dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin and also our endorphins. And we're going to win this war. Okay, so how to be happy? Laugh. See that comedic side of everything in your life. Okay, laugh at everything. All right, and then you don't need to go on to any sort of prescription pills. Because all antidepressant pills are, are to increase all these chemicals that we can do ourselves. Okay, so I hope you have a great day. I hope this has given you a giggle. So you go and talk to yourself in the mirror and say, wow, you're a great person. <laughs> at it so please go and do this also okay love yous all Mwah. hey i said i love yous all why because 
Okay, I want you to do this as an example. When you say, I love you, also say because. So it's not three words, make it four words. I love you because. So why do I love you all? Because you are obviously watching me to learn and grow. You're watching me to be better people. So how proud am I of you for being in my life? Love you all. Hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.